week in the kitchen with David, we bring you a segment that we call Cookbook Corner. And I have a hand in working with our buying team to choose the books every single week. And I chose this one a couple of months ago when we were looking ahead to this program because I loved the whole wonderful, charming country feel of this incredible book. It comes to us from a wonderful company called Gooseberry Patch. Many of you are familiar. They are a wonderful catalog and retail space. They have a website. They have been in business for more than 25 years. And we are thrilled to bring you this brand new book. Nearly 200 recipes, beautiful, beautiful ideas for holiday entertaining, holiday food gift ideas, decorating tips. There are no color photographs or black and white photographs, just beautiful illustrations that add to the charm and whimsy and wonderful home spun feeling of this incredible book. Welcoming today to talk about our wonderful cookbook from Gooseberry Patch is Brenda Smith, who has been with Gooseberry for four years. Good Hi. to have you here. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It is a real pleasure to have you here. And in looking over your book in the last couple of months, I was so charmed by the recipes because they were so such comfort food, such wonderful mm -hmm. holiday favorites, mm -hmm. and everything so easy to make. It is. And you know, um, we have such great customers a gooseberry patch. We get our um, recipes from customers all over the country, um, from California to Cincinnati, Ohio. They send us their family's favorites, their tried and true recipes that they've made time and time again for their family and friends. Um, not only do they send us their recipes, but they also send us great little tidbits about <laughs> the recipes as well. And I'm so excited that you picked this book because this book, you know, Gooseberry Patch books are always special, but our Christmas books are even more special. We've got great... <laughs> it's a busy day in the kitchen today. Yes, Not it me. is. It wasn't me. All right. Now, you know what I'd love to do if we could, Brenda? Okay. I'd love for us to start a food tour around the table because you've got so many goodies and I'm loving the look of these meatballs. I would love for you to tell us about these meatballs those, right here in the center. Those are cranberry meatballs. Okay. Um, it's a different little twist. You know, you, you've made your typical meatballs before with the grape jelly, but this time we've made it with the cranberry jelly instead. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, look at that. So you got kind of a sweet and savory thing we happening. We do, we now, do. Now, you have a little one back here for me to taste, and that's my job to do that. So, I know. Nice work if you can get it, right? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that glaze is so nice on the top. I know. It's a little different. A little mm, different. It's little delicious. It's extra delicious. little uh, spice for it, too. As expected, we've got an update for you. We started with 6,000 books. I have 1,500 remaining. These are going very quickly. Oh Let's gosh. jump in and talk about this breakfast casserole because I don't want us to uh, lose time before we, before we mention this. This is our holiday breakfast brunch. And you know, the great thing about this recipe is that you can make it ahead of time. Make it the night before. Pop it in the oven. Um, and that way you can spend more time with your friends and family. And that's really and what, what... is this? What is what's inside? Oh, we've got croutons. We have cheese we have mm. sausage a little mm. bit of mustard and you know <laughs> everything about our recipes you're gonna find in your kitchen and your pantry or at your local grocery store it's no mystery ingredient that you're only going to use once you know? i bet if you've got kids that won't eat eggs they'll eat this <laughs> oh it's got sausage and cheese and all the yummies in there you I love i know okay so we got to move on though mm -hmm. okay something else you know Tara had, you know, M&M's and her little temptations. David, I have chocolate fondue. Nice. Chocolate nice. fondue. Hey, and you know what? Before we wrap up, because this is about to sell out, I wanted to mention to you, there's also a segment in here called Deck the Halls. Great wonderful crafty ideas for decorating, wonderful gift-giving opportunities, beautiful uh, hand-drawn illustrations, and a charm and a whimsy that is only found with Gooseberry Patch. Brenda, this is almost sold out. We have to wrap it up. It is great to have you here. Thank, Thank you, you. so, so much. much for Let's us. hear it for Brenda, everybody. Very